YouTube, my name's Anthony and I'm bringing you another video in the tree identification series and today's feature is the red oak also known as Quercus rubra. The red oak tree can be about six foot diameter, it can rise to the height of about 90 feet and it can live for as long as 400 years. The tannin rich acorns, the tannin rich acorns take two years to mature. Tannin rich acorns can take two years to mature and the tannins inside the acorns are toxic for most animals but is fed on by squirrels, deer and birds. The range of the red oak tree is southeastern Canada and the northeastern United States. It differs from the southern red oaks that grow in the southeastern United States. In modern times the red oak species is very dominant in forests but the forests actually used to be heavily populated by white oaks which are harvested for their wood for timber. Red oaks are subject to damage through oak wilt and fungus. Red oak shares a number of trees within its family, one of those including black oak. It is also closely related to pin oak. Let's get you guys in closer to look at the red oak leaf. As you can see, the leaves are starting to change on this tree. It starts to change color a little later in the fall than the maples. You can see with these leaves, they're very distinct with all the points on the end. Similar to white oak, white oak trees are different in that they have rounded lobes. The red oak has a variety of colors as you can see. It goes from red to orange and then they all turn brown towards the end of the fall and then sometimes the leaves will actually stay on the tree. Red oak is known to be one of the most desired firewood species as it has a very long burn time and produces very little ash and it produces a lot of heat. The only downside of using red oak for firewood is it takes very long to dry generally takes up to two years. Let's zoom in closer and take a look at the bark. Now this is a young tree so it's still got relatively flat bark but you can see where the bark sections are actually starting to separate and then they're going to start turning into strips. I'm going to look for a bigger tree around here see if I can show you a better idea of the bark. Here's a younger red oak but the bark looks a little mature and it looks like it's taken on its form a little better. Here's a younger tree, but you can see how the bark is starting to separate and create its own ridges a little sooner than the other one. Here's a much smaller tree, and you can see it's really started to change color. Here's some split red oak firewood. Here's a close-up of the red oak grain. It looks like somebody took a razor blade and they made a series of slits with a razor blade and they carve holes through the inside of the tree. Here's the damage done by it. Here's the larvae of the red oak borer. Here's some cut rounds of red oak. Here's a red oak round with some wood split off of it already. You can see the nice red color. Here's a random guy with a pile of red oak split. Here's a close-up of the bark of the red oak and you can see the flat strips and then the sides of the strips are angled. Here's the damage due to oak wilt and oak wilt prevents moisture from going up to the top of the tree from the roots. You can tell by the discoloration on the leaves and you can see the damage it's done to the tree. You can see those razor blade slits that I was just talking about. This also appears on the underside of the bark as well as the outside of the sapwood. This is the picnic beetle, which causes the oak wilt. They spread fungus into the tree and the tree gets infected. And a lot of times the roots of oak trees will connect with roots of other oak trees and they'll spread the fungus that way. Here's another end cut and you can see the black spot. That's probably caused some metal that was hammered into the tree some time ago. Sometimes instead of black, this will actually look like blue pen ink. Now how you tell any oak is it has these light colored rays coming from the center. So I wasn't able to find any examples of big trees in the forest and there are some trees that were planted here in this park and they were planted not too long ago so they're not very big but I'll show you guys some other examples with pictures. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share, comment and all that good stuff.